वी आर कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ सिक्योरिंग मेजॉरिटी एब्सोल्यूट मेजॉरिटी आइदर इंडिपेंडेंटली बीजेपी इट सेल्फ आर एटलीस्ट टुगेदर विथ अवर एन डी ए अलायंस पार्टनर्स वी आर क्वाइट कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ सिक्योरिंग द मेजॉरिटी our understanding and our uh, reality that we see on the ground is that we have been able to create a good number of jo- jobs both in the formal sector as well as in the informal sector official data also gives numbers like 120 million jobs have been created and all that one assessment is about formal employment yes but you know in india today any number of new sectors are emerging i tell you one example i'm not saying that's the only thing i have seen thousands of such rickshaws coming on to the streets roads like that is creating one employment it will not be counted in the formal employment yet but so many such sectors are there where employment is being created now tell me one thing india's infrastructure growth is phenomenal india is adding new highways new ports new roads new air, air uh, i mean airports without generating employment we are doing this all this is generating employment definitely so while i don't dispute the formal figures but i'm saying the employment growth is also happening we have tried to bring in an a greatly reformed law in the very first year of our government itself we had some parliamentary opposition we had certain opposition from the within the parliament and outside also certain ngos and others we have tried to satisfy everybody and brought in certain major uh, amendments to existing land reform land uh, reform laws overall that's what i'm saying overall these measures have helped in uh, indian economy growing well our ease of doing business rankings improving uh, knowing prime minister modi well i can tell you one thing clearly he will certainly be pitching for much stronger economic growth in this country one of the major uh, you call it reforms or you call it changes that uh, modi has introduced in our foreign policy was the element of dehyphenation our relationship with the usa is a stand alone relationship it is a traditionally strong relationship we consider ourselves as natural allies but that doesn't in any way impact our relationship with any third country our relationship with china again is a standard relationship this is an element that we have brought in in a very forceful way any type of vigilantism has no place in our system we have asked uh, in india land order is the responsibility of the state governments wherever these incidents have happened we have asked the local state governments to take strict action against the vigilantes uh, who indulge in that kind of violence in her particular case in majority of the cases those allegations the investigating agencies have said that the allegations were false not based on any truth i agree there are a couple of cases pending uh, so technically or legally speaking there is She's no, to no run. bar but then if you are raising the question of the so called moral question in india several people having allegations do contest polls those Different questions things. we would rather want people to decide let these moral questions be addressed by people